This is mostly a recommendation for people who are just kind of starting out, but I guess it applies to people who maybe have been doing it for a while too, uh, specifically in regards to video production or just production in general, is that you have to know your gear. And what I mean by that is that if someone asks you like, oh, what'd you shoot that on? You should know the camera if you shot it, if you say you shot it. Um, If you worked on a production and they're like, oh, what kind of lights were you guys using? You should know what lights you were using. You should know the color temperature of those lights, the brand, the the power, uh, um, probably how much they cost, uh, where to get more of them. Like you have to know these things. And the reason being is that it shows if you're passionate and care about what you do. There are a lot of times where I ask somebody and they'll say like, oh, I do video work, right? I'll say, I do video work. And I say, oh, great. Like what, uh, what camera do you own? Like, um... It's a Canon something. Like you bought it, right? Like you hit the buy button and you shoot with it and you don't know what it is. Like that's, doesn't look very good. It doesn't give me confidence that like you are a professional and know what you're doing if you don't know what you're doing or what you're using. Um, I understand people can get confused. You know, there's like different variations on things like they they add an S on the end to a camera or they're like an R it's a weird variation. It's the three plus black silver, you know, like the GoPro stuff. Like I understand that products can get really confusing, but at the same time, you still have to know them. You have to know them because if you don't know them, it's just showing that you're not passionate and you don't care because you clearly don't, if you don't know, right? Like and, and this is another thing too. So if you're like on set or you're working with um, other professionals and they're, and you're trying to learn, right? Learn what they're using. Like, because then guess what? You can go rent that camera or those items, or you can go look them up online. You can go search YouTube videos of other people using it and figure out, okay, why were they doing what they were doing? What were they doing? How do I do it? So the next time you're around that camera or someone asks you if you have experience using the Red Epic, You can say, yeah, yeah, I was on a production where we used that and it was this version and we were shooting this resolution with this frame rate and I was, you know, an assistant, so I wasn't actually doing it, but I could totally help you out because I know that camera or I know that audio setup or I know those lights or I know that support system, like whatever it is, just know and figure it out. I, I, it's not really that big of a topic, I guess. So this video might be kind of short, but just know your gear because so many people don't. And if you do, that puts you so far ahead. So like I said, for like the people who are just starting out and like just getting into this stuff, like just knowing like what the gear is, it seems so stupid and so simple because a lot of people like, okay, you have this problem, right? Where people say it's not about the gear. The gear doesn't matter. You know, it's about, um, you know, the creative elements, the storytelling, um, the visual composition, all that stuff. And yes, like all that stuff is really important, probably more important than the gear, but you still have to know the gear because the gear is what makes all that other stuff happen. So like know it, right? And if you do know it, other people are probably going to be more likely to trust you with it. If you're like, you know, oh, I've shot with Nikon. Like, okay, which, which Nikon have you shot with? Uh, D, D something. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, what, yeah, D something. All right. You think I'm going to hand over my D800 or whatever to be like someone who's just like, yeah, I shoot a Nikon with a D something? Like, no. But if you're like, oh, yeah, I've shot with the D600, um, I've been looking at the 800 or the 5 or the 4 or whatever, right? I've been looking at all these other things. I've been shooting with this. I, I still shoot my D90, whatever it is. And they're like, but I'm looking at this other stuff. I'd be like, oh, well, I have. I, I just picked up the brand new D5. Like, here, check it out. Here you go. Because I trust, because you you know all that stuff, that you're probably going to respect the camera and, know, and like understand that what I'm handing you is really expensive and really important to me. And it's not just a D something. Because, like, yeah, it's all D something. Same thing for Canon. Same thing for any, any camera. Like, if you don't know the, you know, the lights... Are they LED? Are they tungsten? Are they fluorescent? Like what, what are they? Because how am I going to trust you to light something if you don't know what the lights are? I'm not going to. So yes, gear is not the most important thing, 
but it is still important. Don't disregard it. You have to know that stuff, especially, especially if you want to do it, but especially if you want other people to trust you. It's as simple as that.